Hey champs, Coach Melissa here from Rocksteady Boxing Sacramento, Camp of the Champs with another short workout for you. You will need a very light med ball, soccer ball, or basketball to complete this workout. Also, you will need a clock uh, with a second hand or a timer, a stopwatch, um, something of that nature, either on your phone or handheld is fine. Um, have some water nearby. We will be completing six exercises for 30 seconds each. You can repeat them for two to three sets for a short workout or warm up, or repeat them up as many times as eight sets for a rigorous high intensity workout. So it's a choose your own adventure. Let's get started. The first exercise is a high knee touch. You'll be touching the ball with your knees, keeping your arms extended, long lever, shoulders are locked down. You're bringing your knees up as high as you can to meet the ball. If you need to lower the ball to meet your knees at their highest level, that is fine. Let's start for 30 seconds, guys. Now, tummy's tight, shoulders are locked down, tall posture. You can jog it out or work with the high knees, but we're just getting warmed up, so I would just work on exaggerating the high knees. We have less than five seconds now. And time. Then you're gonna place the ball on the floor, a stable area. We're gonna work on toes on top, getting the toes right on top of that ball, swinging our arms. Go, 30 seconds. Trying to keep that ball in place. I don't want you kicking at the ball low, I want it up high. High, high. If you can jog it out, that's also an option, or just toes on top. The rigorous arm swing is a big deal. It helps the momentum and your gait, so make sure that you're getting your elbows to swing back as you do this. Five more seconds. And time. Picking up the ball, we're gonna throw some knees, meaning our arms are long. We're gonna reach across the body about ear level. Take the opposite knee and meet in the middle for 30 seconds. Keeping that belly button tucked in. Go. Chopping across, throwing those knees. Knees go across and arm, they meet in the middle. Working on balance, standing in the middle of the standing leg, spreading our toes, really chopping across. Almost there, gang. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna switch sides. Long arms the entire exercise, and switch. Arms across the other side, long arms, opposite knee goes across the body, and go, 30 seconds. Nice and steady. This one, if you go slower, it's actually more of a challenge. You reap better benefits because you're balanced. You have to really stay structured in good posture. Arms are long, really hiking that knee across the body. If you go too fast, you may not get that full range and miss the benefit of that stress in your trunk. It's better than a crunch. That away. Time. The next one is figure eights. So you're gonna stand a little wider than hip width apart, tummy tight, glutes tight, long arms. You're gonna make that infinity sim symbol or figure eight in front of the body. This can start out as anti-rotation, meaning we're not twisting the hips, just keeping the tummy tight. If you don't have back problems, you can add the squat coming up and down, up and down, going deep and rising. That's a good progression. But if you do have back issues, Keep it less rotation, standing in the center here. Arms are long, finishing, okay? Really feel this in the shoulders, glutes and tummy, and time. Then we're gonna work on a tiptoe to heel squat and slam. So feet are about hip width apart. We get on our tiptoes and reach up as high as we can, holding the ball in front of the body, squat down, sitting back and down, slamming. Up and down. Let's start for 30 seconds now. This is exercise five of six. Eyes follow the ball, looking up and down. Up and down, sitting back into the heels and the hips, and then tiptoes reaching up nice and high. And down. We have 15 more seconds to go, guys. We got this. Making sure that that ball doesn't come back and hit you in the face. So if we keep our arms long, it avoids that. Keeps it far enough away. And time. Last exercise is a torso rotation. So our feet are wide, shoulders are locked down, tummy's tight, glutes are tight, arms are at about shoulder level. We're gonna pull from the 
tummy to one side and then to the other, okay? So 180 degrees, okay? Left and right or right and left for 30 seconds starting now. Pull and pause, pull and pause. Eyes are following the ball in all six exercises, okay? Make sure you're making that complete torso rotation, turning like a cylinder, taking the back heel off the ground. Standing upright, not falling over. Cylinder, okay? We got this, gang. Keep it up. We have five more seconds. Pulling from that tummy. Pausing. And time. So there you have it, six exercises. You can repeat two to three times for that warm up or short workout, or up to as many as eight sets for a rigorous high intensity workout. It's definitely total body. It should get your heart rate up. If you feel out of breath though, um, like you're struggling to breathe, lightheaded, dizzy, any of that, always stop, get some water, sit down, be safe, make sure you're in a safe place and you're listening to your body first. All right, check it out and let me know how you do.